Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is predictive analytics? In simple terms, the use of historical data to arrive at a possible future event is called predictive analytics. You have some historical data and you want to predict what will happen in the next coming months or coming year and you want to predict it using the historical data that is called predictive analytics. So basically it uses statistics and modeling techniques to determine the relationships and patterns in the historical data to arrive at future indicators. It is also used as decision making tool. So instead of you doing manually predictions, you will ask the system to predict it for you. So organizations can avoid guessing by using predictive analytics which is backed by data. So if you remember in the earlier sessions I used to tell if humans are allowed to take decision they have this emotional intelligence also added to it and it might not be kind of unbiased so that's always better to have the system do the predictions. SAP Analytics Cloud offers business intelligence and planning predictive capabilities in a single tool. So we will see what is uh, the approach which we use for predictions. So every day in business we need to have some pre proactive approach towards consumer de demand rather than reactive one. So basically you have a company which is selling some products and uh, instead of acting using the predictive analytics you kind of have this me uh, method right uh, like uh, you need to wait for the customer to come and ask you for the product and then after then you will go and check if you in your inventory if the product is there or not that is a problematic situation because what if a customer comes to you and asks that he need 10 quantity of a product and you only have 5 quantity then you end up in losing because the customer will not be satisfied he will kind of raise an issue that I asked for 10, 10 pieces you are giving me only 5 pieces so at that moment if you ask him that wait for 10 minutes I will go and get from the warehouse he will not be happy because he needs to wait for extra time that is not a good way of doing business so rather than being at the reactive side you should be proactive which means you need to predict how much customer demand will come for example a scenario like uh, summer season might be arriving next month okay and uh, in summer usually people buy cool drinks more ice creams more so you should be predicting that okay my demand will be like last year in summer I had 500 uh, thousand sales of ice cream so this time I you need to be predicting that it might be above 5,000 50,000 sorry uh, so what you need to do is you need to already start placing orders to the corresponding ice cream manufacturers so that when summer comes you are ready with your demand so you should not be like let the summer come let the customer come then suddenly customer will come and ask that 10,000 pieces I need ice cream you need to again wait for some five to six days from the manufacturer to get it that's not how it works right so that's why you should always use a proactive approach rather than reactive one and one more example can be like if you are a car manufacturer you need to fulfill all the customer orders on time because uh, customers expect the delivery on time but you also need to have to have the huge inventory because uh, you need to also have the inventory space where you will store all the cars and spare parts inventory should be like you have a uh, sizable amount of demand and it should be moving right if your inventory is not moving at all then it is also a loss because you are not selling anything you are paying rent for the inventory space and at the end of the day the business is not happening it should be like the inventory also go out at the same time you need to replenish your, replenish your inventory so our scenario is like <clears throat> you want to fulfill all the customer demands on time but you also need to uh, you do not want to have huge inventories as this will not make a profit until the car is sold so until the car is sold you will be paying rent for your uh, inventory space so if the vehicle resides in the warehouse it cannot be counted as part of revenue because you haven't sold it so how does the manufacturer know the number of cars to be manufactured that, that is the, how they predict it so they need to always predict that okay this is a, a festival season com is coming now so there might be 100 or 500 sales of this car so they need to have that 500 cars ready or you know almost getting ready from the warehouse uh, so that's how they predict it so if you don't predict it you end up paying more and you will end up paying the having the losses so an organization current actions are triggered by what they expect 
or want in future a future that they predict basically so these are the scenarios where predictive planning can be used for example to, to know the future demand of a product in a manufacturing firm to manage the staffing needs for a service firm to provide an optimal customer experience for example if you are company like TCS or uh, Wipro or Deloitte you need to have consulting uh, services uh, available when a customer is ready to ask for these number of consultants you should be having those many consultants ready to work in their projects in the customer place so you need to also kind of predict it other scenario can be like to plan inventory levels for a retail firm so if you are having a retail shopping mart you need to also have the inventory ready the stocks available to predict the customer churn for a cellular service provider for example if you are Airtel and you want to understand when a customer might move from Airtel to Geo so you need to also understand what is the market trend going on so to predict if a customer will stay with you or not that is also a scenario where you can use predictions for example if your customer is already raising complaints that his plan is not good he is not getting sufficient data he is not having sufficient data plan then you you might think that he is most likely to move to other cellular provider rather than staying your in your provider so what you need to do is you need to give him some offers that okay I can give you 300 rupees for 500 GB and you need to give him some offers for him to kind of retain the customer so like that you can also predict the customer churn then in companies for expense and cost planning in any organization you can also use predictions prediction planning thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today